Hello, Internet. So, it's uh, two days after Thanksgiving right now. Finally reached the point of uh, the reasonably appropriate time for listening to Christmas music and just the general start of the Christmas season. I'm firmly opposed to uh, starting at any time before Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving is... Th th Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. And for many reasons, uh, one of the least of which is it's very difficult to commercialize since it's all about giving thanks for the things that you have. But Thanksgiving is a time to spend with friends um, and family, uh, reflect on the good that has happened to you, and be thankful for what you have. And it's, it's, it's very difficult to commercialize. Which, and I think that's being proved right now by the retailers of America, since they are not trying to commercialize Thanksgiving. They're just skipping it all together and starting Black Friday a few hours early. I'm not a big fan of that at all. Anyway, completely off topic here, reasonably appropriate time for listening to Christmas music. Um, as uh, I said on Tumblr uh, a few days ago, my favorite uh, Christmas song... Uh, to listen to is The Little Drummer Boy, as recorded by my favorite band, The Echoing Green. Uh, they're a synth-pop band out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, and they're pretty much awesome, and you should check them out if you like uh, music like that at all. I think one of the things I like most about that piece of music is it's a Christmas song. It doesn't sound overly Christmassy. Uh, it's just a good song. And I'm finding that most of the Christmas songs that I like are fall into that category. We listen to a lot of uh, Over the Rhine here, uh, mostly because Britney is their biggest fan ever. Uh, and uh, I, I, I appreciate them too. They, they write some really, really good music. And you should check them out too. They're also awesome. They've had two Christmas CDs come out, and the thing about their Christmas CDs is uh, there there's a lot of original music uh, on on theirs. Um, you know, usually a Christmas CD has you know new versions, um, sometimes uh, updated or uh, you know redone versions of classic Christmas songs. But Over the Rhine, uh, their first Christmas album uh, had only seven original songs on it out of the 13 total tracks. I'm not sure what the count is on their second Christmas album. Uh, the first one is uh, The Longest Night of the Year, and the second one is Snow Angels, and you should definitely go check them out. You should also check out uh, Reliant K's album. Uh, the I think it's on Spotify as a uh, Reliant Christmas, uh, but I prefer it by its original title, Deck the Halls, Bruise Your Hand. It has a, a great version of We Wish You a Merry Christmas. It's sort of one of those hybrid original cover songs. You know, in, in true Reliant K fashion, they managed to be uh, both uh, witty and um, fun-loving and poignantly serious on the same album. Um, and I think it's really well executed. Uh, the, that's what I think of when I think of Christmas music, um, apart from, you know, just the usuals. Um, but I'm curious as to what you guys uh, listen to. So uh, send me a message on Tumblr or leave a note in the comments if you have stooped to the level of getting a Google Plus account. You know, happy start to the Christmas season. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.